the pace at which technology moves, uh, it has changed so much in my own career. And I really believe uh, the thing that excites me most is how can I bring my knowledge of what the industry is looking for with what the students are learning and how can I bridge that uh, gap a little bit so that when students come out of the university, they're better prepared uh, to, to do the job that they're looking to do. Having somebody like Krish Prabhu come and start working with us as a research professor, particularly while he still has his uh, CTO role at AT&T, I think is an indication uh, for us that somebody of his standing sees what's going on here as a real positive, sees it as something that's really great for the future, and something he would like to be a part of and contribute to. So this is going to add to our current critical mass uh, in the computer science engineering, where we are already pursuing uh, uh, you know, very uh, forefront uh, research in data analytics, uh, cyber security, uh, and uh, uh, health-related uh, informatics research. So this is going to be tremendous for us. UTA is really close to my heart. Remember, when I first came to this area, the first place I taught was at UTA. The campus has changed so much uh, since the time I was here 30 years ago. And I really believe that the path that UTA has embarked upon uh, will look back five years from now and see the massive transformation that's happened at UTA. It's very exciting to be a part of that.